So in this problem, we have a complex number z, and it's equal to cosine theta plus i times sine theta. And we want to show that z raised to the nth power plus one over z raised to the nth power is equal to two times cosine of n theta. So the first thing that I wanna write down is Euler's formula. And this just says that e to the i times an angle, which we will call phi, is equal to cosine of that angle plus i sine of that angle. So now I want to use Euler's formula to express our number z. So we can say that z is equal to e to the i times theta because theta is the angle of z in the complex plane. We can think about it like this. Here's our complex plane with our real and imaginary axis. And this point, we'll say that this point right here is our z, where the angle of the vector pointing from the origin to z is theta. So expressing z in its polar form gives us z is equal to e to the i theta. Now what I wanna do is I want to raise z to the nth power. And I'm gonna do that by raising its polar form to the nth power. So we can say that this is equal to e to the i theta raised to the nth power, which comes out to be e to the i times n theta. And now we wanna find an expression for one over z to the n. So I can rewrite this as z to the negative nth power. So we'll take our polar form, e to the i theta, and we'll raise it to the negative nth power. So we can rewrite this as e to the i times negative n theta. So now let's go ahead and take these two forms and let's plug it back into Euler's formula up here in order to turn it into cosines and sines again. So this and this would be our new angles for these expressions. So I can say that z to the n is equal to cosine of n theta plus i sine of n theta. And I can say that one over z to the n is equal to cosine of negative n theta plus i sine of negative n theta. Again, because the angle in its polar form becomes the angle of the arguments of the uh, cosine and sine functions, according to Euler's formula. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in, plug those two expressions in to our equation that we want to show. So z to the n plus one over z to the n is equal to cosine of n theta plus i sine of n theta plus cosine of negative n theta plus i sine of negative n theta. And we wanna show that this is equal to two cosine of n theta. So now I wanna make use of even and odd functions. So for an even function, if we have the function f and we say it is even, then f of x is equal to f of negative x. And similarly, if it's odd, so if f is odd, then f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. So we're going to use this fact in order to get rid of the negative signs within the arguments. So we know that cosine is an even function and we know that sine is an odd function. So this negative sign within the cosine argument, we can just get rid of because f of x is equal to f of negative x. However, this negative sign, we can make that a positive on the inside, but we can move the negative side on the outside. So I'm going to rewrite this as cosine of n theta plus i sine of n theta plus cosine of n theta, since the negative sign uh, can be removed because it is an even function, and then minus i sine of n theta, where the negative sign moved from the inside to the outside since it is an odd function. And now we can see exactly how this simplifies. These guys are like terms, so when I add those together, I get two cosine of n theta, and these guys right here, I have a plus i sine theta, and I have a minus i sine n theta, so these cancel out. And that leaves me with just two cosine of n theta, which is exactly what I wanted to prove. So here, 
here in this big old expression right here, we started with z to the n plus one over z to the n, and we reduced it to this. So we have successfully shown that z to the n plus one over z to the n is equal to two cosine of n theta. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.